Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and I'm a part-time reseller and I do almost all of my sourcing online. And today I have two thread up boxes that I'm going to unbox for you. So let's get started. I have opened these um, and I actually was only gonna unbox one of these um, and do a video and the other one I was just going to photograph everything, but I decided that I wanted to compare these two boxes for you. So this first box is the DIY premium brand box. Um, I have opened them, I have gone through them. Um, this one did come from Georgia and let me just open it and show you. Um, both boxes were $90 and they both have five items in them. So this is supposed to be a DIY premium brand accessory box. So I don't know what you consider accessories, but these items are definitely accessories. I just would have expected more of a variety. Um, but anyway, so let me show you. Um, first, I'm going to remove the tissue paper. Um, actually, there is two different kinds of items. Anyway, so the first item I got is this bag. It's like a crossbody kind of bag. Um, and it needs to be fixed right here can see that um, which looks like an easy fix um, but the problem with this bag is there's no brand I even took a picture of it put it through Google Lens nothing comes up so to me this is not a premium brand item if there's no brand so that was the first item. The next item is this bag, number 21. It's not a brand I'm familiar with. It's in good shape, except for this strap is missing the little buckle thing here to attach it. So somebody could either figure out a way to fix this. If you know how to fix this, leave me a comment down below and let me know, um, except for it would not have the number 21 on it. Um, but the bag itself's in good condition, so somebody could use a different strap. Um, I did see this listed on Poshmark, broken the exact same way, and somebody did have it listed for a decent amount um decent as in i would make my money back for what i paid for that bag next is this bag again oops wrong side um it's in pretty good shape except for i'm pretty sure it's supposed to also have a strap and I'm not a brand I'm familiar with, but it does sell pretty good. It's Libeskin. I think I'm saying that right. Libeskin. Is it one word? Is it three words? I don't know. Anyway, so hopefully you could still sell this, even though there's no strap. Um, next pair of sunglasses. So this is what I would more consider an accessory. I mean, handbags, yes, but this box, spoiler alert, it's all handbags. So there are these sunglasses. They are um, Linda Farrow. And they, I don't see any scratches. They're in perfect condition. Um, they just, they don't come with a holder for them. But other than that, they're in perfect shape. So hopefully 
Um, these will sell and make most of my money back. And the last is this furla bag. And as you can see right away, there is a stain here. Um, I'm going to attempt to use some leather cleaner to clean it. Um, I don't know if it will come out. If you have any tips, I'd love to hear it, hear them. But I think I can show you the inside. Um, yeah, so I don't know what it was, but it looks like almost somebody tried to clean it from the inside. I don't know. I could be wrong. But. So, that was that bag. Now, let me show you the other bag box I have. This here. And this one is... Um five name brand handbags. Now I've gotten a couple of these boxes before. I've done some unboxings and they're not my favorite because I personally don't think that you can make that much money on them. Um, I prefer just the regular handbag boxes, but um, I kind of was interested in getting a new bag myself. So I was hoping maybe there'd be something good in here and that would make it worth it for me. So here's the inside. It was also $90. And these are all name brands. So, and it's, this is supposed to be three handbags and two accessory items. The first bag is this Rebecca Minkoff. Um, looks like this fringe on the back maybe isn't the way it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, I think it's probably supposed to be like this. So I'll just have to retie that. Not a big deal. Front, the back, it does have a little bit of something here. It has this chain crossbody strap. It's in pretty good condition. Um, it's a little dirty in there, but it's just crumbs. So, I have another Rebecca Minkoff bag that I got in just a regular handbag box, and I haven't been able to sell it. So, next is this Kate Spade wristlet. This I would consider an accessory item. Um, here's the inside, but it's in good shape, good condition. I'm pretty sure it's authentic, um, based on these tags. Oh, it does look like it. I don't know if you can tell. I could use a, a slight bit of cleaning here. Next is this other... Kate Spade bag, which I kind of like for myself. Um, I haven't decided. It has a crossbody strap with it. Um, and it's black and white striped inside. Um, I'm pretty sure it's authentic. I haven't checked any of these. I, I went through the boxes very quickly. I definitely didn't look through this box that well. I just briefly looked, so. Um, next, I think this is probably considered an accessory too, maybe, but it's this crossbody Michael Michael Kors bag. Um, it does have some scratches here, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And finally, there's this Dooney Burke bag. Um, it does have a little scuff right here. Do you think I might be able to get out? Let's see. Um, and there's like maybe some pin marks. 
So that is this box. I definitely think I can make some money off of this box, even if I keep the Kate Spade bag. Um, yeah, so tell me what you think down below. Um, would you get it either one of these boxes? Um, do you think one is better than the other? I personally think the name brand handbag box was worth more than the premium DIY brand box. Um, yeah, I don't really know why that one is priced how it is. And I am going to email thread up about the one no name bag because it's supposed to be premium brands and it's a no brand. So anyway, if you'd like to see more like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit the little bell to be notified and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. 